morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Valerie Dyson and today I am going to do a mini review of this Smashbox photo finish primerizer plus hydrating primer and yeah I'll do a mini review I'll do a try on it um, in a clip and I hope you enjoy so like I said this is the Smashbox photo finish primerizer plus hydrating primer it rates 4.6 stars on the Ulta website. I think it was Ulta's website that I saw it on. Um, but it's $42. I will agree. It is, I will say it's a 4.6 star too. I agree to that because it's really good. The pros are it keeps your makeup on all day. Um, I agree. And when it does... Well, when my makeup is wearing off, it doesn't look like a patchy mess. But keep in mind, my skin is a normal skin type. I'm not too oily. I might sweat a little bit. Um, but I don't have really any dry patches. So keep that in mind. But I do work like 11-hour shifts, both outside in the kitchen also. Um, and it is really a lot and airy, like... You can see on the clip, it was kind of, kind of liquidy, like it, it's not a thick consistency. It's not silicone-y. Um, it's not the most moisturizing type of product I've had. I did like the old Smashbox hydrating primer better, the primerizer better, um, because I like that real moisturizing type of feel. But this is a great one. And I love it almost just as much. <laughs> but yeah. I feel like it hydrates the skin really good in my opinion. But like I said, keep in mind that I do have normal skin. There is some people, like I looked at the negative reviews. And the only thing I can see that uh, some people had a... Uh, con about was that they had really dry skin and it was, wasn't as moisturizing as they would like. Um, I will say, however, I do have the um, Smashbox Halo Plumping Dew Plus Hyaluronic Acid Illuminizing Moisturizer and this is way less moisturizing. I don't see the moisturization at all in this product. So, this would be better um, for moisturization than that one. But, I will show you three other um, primers that I do like. Um, just as much, if not more, because they was already in my collection. And I'm bringing them out to show you alternatives. They're not drugstore, so they probably cost just as much, if not more, or a little bit less. They're all kind of higher-end products, too. Unfortunately, I can't remember of a moisturizer right off my head that, or a moisturizing primer that I like um, from the drugstore. Just not off the top of my head. I want to say that CoverGirl has a, um, their Age Rewind has a moisturizer that I've tried that I really loved but I don't have it so I might have already like used it all up I don't know I don't really remember so this is the Thrive Cosmetics Sunproof 3-in-1 Invisible Priming Sunscreen SPF of 27 does this have SPF it doesn't say it does so that doesn't have um, SPF so keep that in mind too I do love this. I am more than halfway done with it, but it's a higher brand. I don't remember the price, but that is another moisturizer I like. If you like that one, you might like that Smashbox one that I'm reviewing right now. This is a pure 4-in-1 correcting primer, uh, Prep and Perfect. I do love this one also. And then the newer Super Goop Sunscreen, Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I like this one also. So, if you like those three, 
you'll probably like this one too. That's pretty much uh, the, in, the mini review, my thoughts and opinions of this um, primer. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, this was sent to me um, on my and Ida's last box swap. Her channel name is DD5. I will have her channel link in my description box below and also at the end card at the end of this video. So if you hadn't checked that out already, please do. But yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!